It is so nice to finally say that a GTA 6 trailer is right around the corner, and today I would like to go over some of the 5 features that I would love to see return or exist in Grand Theft Auto 6. If there's any concepts or features you guys would like to see, then maybe I can cover it in another video or have its own dedicated concepts video. These are in no particular order, so coming in at number one is a co-op story mode. I covered this in a GTA 6 concepts video a few months back, and I'll leave the GTA 6 concepts playlist in the description if you guys would like to check it out as well, but I feel like there's a lot more I need to add to this topic. Now, Rockstar has added single player co-op in a Grand Theft Auto game before in GTA San Andreas. Now, it wasn't great. It was obviously very, very outdated and got old very quickly because you and a co-op partner like shared a camera and it was really, really bad. But I think with today's gameplay and hardware, it shouldn't be an issue at all. And there's a very good chance that GTA 6 Online won't be coming out until maybe a few weeks or even a few months after GTA 6 actually releases. And I don't want to be stuck playing single player by myself all the time. I want to be able to experience that with a friend or some sort of partner. I think that'd be really, really cool. And it would be the perfect opportunity to get a chance or get a glimpse of what online play could be like for when GTA 6 Online initially releases probably later on. I think I would definitely be more inclined and I think a lot of other people will be too. If single player DLC came out, I would be more inclined to purchasing it if I could experience it with a friend and have some sort of cooperative mode. I could go on and on about a single player co-op mode because I think it would just be the coolest thing, especially for a brand new game that we've been waiting 10 years for and being able to experience a brand new installment of the Grand Theft Auto series with a friend or a, a brother or something would be just the coolest thing ever and that's something I really really hope is a part of the game. Coming in at number 2 though, you've seen the background gameplay, it's Red Dead 2, but I hope that we will have improved gore, or at least a similar gore system that we had to Red Dead 2. Nothing was more satisfying than taking a pump action shock and then absolutely blowing someone's limbs off from close range in Red Dead 2. It was one of the most satisfying things ever and I really hope that gore system or something improved comes to GTA 6. I think if we took bare minimum Red Dead 2's gore system, I would be okay with it, but I still would like to see it improved because it has been, you know, five plus years since its release, so I think having some cool high caliber AR dismemberment features would be really, really cool because keep in mind the weapon capabilities were very, very limited in Red Dead 2, so something like a minigun just shredding someone into pieces or like a, a car dismemberment would be really, really cool. Really bringing out my creativity with this one. The little kid, little Grand Theft Auto kid is really excited inside of me, and I hope yours is too. <laughs> Having some cool dismemberment with the RPG, grenade launcher, C4, hand grenade, something like that. Because like I said, Red Dead 2 had some very limited weapon capabilities, and Grand Theft Auto 6 should have just an entire sandbox of weapons at her disposal, so having improved gore would definitely satisfy my gameplay needs. Coming in at number 3 is definitely a Fight Club. Now on top of the Fight Club, I would love to see some improved unarmed combat. Just like you're seeing here in the background gameplay of Red Dead 2, I think at bare minimum, if we got Red Dead 2's unarmed combat gameplay, I would be so, so satisfied being able to tackle people on the streets of the Vice City and beating the bejesus out of them or maybe being able to stuff them in a trunk or something or zip tie them up would be really, really cool. Maybe it's hostages or just beating the bejesus out of people in the, the town of Rhodes here is just so, so satisfying. And it wasn't like GTA 5 where it was very, really straightforward. You held A or X and then you swung when they swung. It was really, really boring. So having the unarmed combat system of Red Dead 2 bare minimum, I think is crazy. Crucial. Now, on top of that, like I said, I would love to see a Fight Club, which was only featured in, I believe, Gay Tony? I could be wrong, but that is the only time I think Grand Theft Auto has ever featured a Fight Club. Now, I'm assuming that Grand Theft Auto and Social Club will once again feature crews, where you and your friends could start your own crew together. I think it'd be really cool if you could do a crew versus crew battle in an online session, and you go to a boxing ring or some sort of arena where you and another crew, or maybe it can be a 1v1, 2v2 sort of thing, you don't have to be part of a crew, and you could just beat the bejesus out of each other, and there could be this whole boxing ring and boxing fight that could be featured, and 
cast it on the whole GTA Online session. So if you were a person that wasn't part of the fight, you can go back to your apartment and watch it on the TV or meet up at the boxing arena if it's nearby and watch a bunch of people duke it out and just have game chat on and just, just let the toxicity roll. It'd be the funnest thing to be able to join in on a fight club with you and your buddies. And of course, um, having a PvE mode sort of thing where you just survive waves of enemies, not like 10 people at a time, but obviously having your own boxing tournament as your own GTA Online player, maybe in single player as well, where Lucia could join a women's tournament and uh, Jason could join a boys tournament. I think that'd be really, really cool. Reddit 2's unarmed combat and gameplay was absolutely phenomenal. I just wish there was a fight club or somewhere I could show it off, maybe in an online session or just in PvE and single player in general, because it was so, so, so much fun to just walk into a bar and just start fights with everyone. And a fighting club or some sort of boxing tournament thing would be really, really cool. Coming in at number four, I would love to see pets or some sort of companion dogs or cats be in GTA 6. It was something we completely lacked in GTA Online where there was zero animals at all. I'm just gonna say like what better way to adventure GTA 6 or GTA 6 Online than with a companion dog or a companion chimp at your side. I think that would be brilliant. Maybe they can help you a little bit in combat. Maybe they can help you steal a car or something. <laughs> maybe the chimpanzee knows how to hotwire. I don't know. Or maybe you could have the dog for example go in like inspect an area or grab something for you like a magazine in a gunfight or something because you run out of ammo. And maybe if they're not able to free roam with us, maybe they're allowed to just stay back at the apartment where you can go and visit them from time to time. Just like in Red Dead 2, you could have a dog at your camp. It was just limited to a dog at your camp. You could walk up and pet it. That was just about it. And I believe it improved your security so your trading business wouldn't get stolen from by the NPCs around. So maybe we can have a guard gorilla sitting outside of our cocaine factory. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And it would definitely improve security tenfold. And on top of pets, I would love to see some wildlife improvements. Maybe in this game we can start our own hunting business or, you know, just hunt animals for fun. Whether or not you can actually take the meat like you can in Red Dead 2 and eat it to improve your health or stamina, maybe they could add a feature like that. Red Dead 2 hunting was really, really immersive, and if you really, really dived into it, you could have a very, very fun time. I know it may not be for everyone, because it will be the modern day where you don't have to hunt for food, but maybe to start your own hunting business, or you're starting your own sporting goods store or something like that, and you want to sell some of the skins for, uh, for jackets or something, I think that'd be pretty cool. And coming in at number 5, I would love to see some better stealth gameplay. Now, don't get me wrong, I know this isn't a Hitman game, and I know this isn't a Batman game where the game doesn't surround itself with stealth, and I don't want it to be by any means, but I would like to have the option to do so in some of these missions where, like in the Humane Labs raid setup mission where you're forced to do stealth, and the stealth mechanics are so, so bad. Now we do know that we're going to be able to crouch and go prone in GTA 6, so maybe being able to sneak into places a little bit easier during a setup mission where you could take the loud approach, but you'll have to deal with police, yada, 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 or you can take the stealth approach and hide in the back seat of a car or something, or the trunk of a car, and then, and then break your way out to then infiltrate the compound or warehouse where you can steal the yada yada and then bring it back. I think that'd be cool. So not only improvements to stealth, whether it be stealth gunplay or unarmed stealth, because there was really, really hard animations that you could definitely fail in GTA 5. That was really, really annoying. If you didn't get the proper stealth animation takedown, then you just you, you failed the mission completely. It was either too hard to complete or the NPCs were too dumb where he, uh, an NPC could drop dead right in front of someone and the alarms weren't raised or anything and there was no suspicion at all. So I think on top of improvements to stealth, I would love to see some definitely more choices to completing missions, whether it be sneaking into a place, being able to stealth kill everyone, or going loud of course. Now those are five features I would love to see in GTA 6. Let me know your thoughts below and let me know some of the other features you guys would like to see in GTA 6 as well. I'd love to do more videos on this, wishlist videos or concept idea videos for GTA 6 because GTA Online is I kind of on its last legs, though we know it's because they're working on GTA 6. It's just very difficult to enjoy GTA Online right now and I think a lot of you guys can agree with me as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!